Safety first. It's complicated. I want to figure it out, and I think this one's going to work. Now I guess we should get back to uh, putting this heater in our van so we can sleep comfortably. Nick? Hello and welcome back to the Knack for Adventure YouTube channel. My name's AJ, I've got Nick with me, and we're super excited about today's video because it's one of the biggest modifications that we've wanted to make to the van. We're installing a heater. We were installing this heater in preparation for a trip to Mammoth that we were taking. That video is next. I just want to say a huge thanks to our sponsor, Wasatch and Squatters Beers. They've been sponsoring our content for over a year now. If you're in Utah and you want to try any fun beers, this salt lime cerveza is so delicious. Nick's favorite is the Juicy IPA, so we're gonna crack open one of these and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Cheers. Momo, in the box. Okay, Momo, we're gonna get started. I've devised a new plan. Because yesterday, you saw me and you were like, Nick, why would you mount the fuel tank underneath the hood. Our little diesel tank should mount right in here like this. It's complicated, metal fabrication is hard, and you don't have the tools for it. And to that, I would say, you're right. So I've decided to rework where I'm gonna put the like actual auxiliary tank for the diesel. And I think I have a really good spot in the back of the van. I've seen a lot of videos, read a lot of Reddit forums, and talked to a few people, and that seems to be the best bet. Mounting. Stretch. Yeah. Mounting it like this is like pretty out of the way. But also, maybe we should just do the fire. <laughs> and just have it be easy. Cause that's easy, right? And, and it's that, out of the like, way. That fits so well right there. It fits, it fits way better right there. Okay, we're gonna go with the five liter. I've decided, we've decided. All right, now that we've figured out our heater, or our, de our auxiliary tank mounting location, I have a good idea of where I'm gonna run my fuel line. So we're gonna run our fuel line. Right through there, down, and then there's a convenient little hole that's already drilled for electrical right there. So Nick has been doing a lot of prep work for this van heater build. While I have been off skiing and getting massages, you know, the important things. But for real, I just want to update a couple things that have been going on lately that we are very excited about. First off, we started filming with our film crew for the True To You project. This is the second year that they're doing it. Basically True, which is an outerwear brand that I've worked with in the past, they pick a couple teams and we have a film window and an edit window and then they do this giant like film screening in all of the hometowns of the film teams. We've got Team Little Light, so it's me and Nick and then our friends Erica Hink and Marcus Catlett and then our other friend, Kaylin Albert. So make sure to head over to True and all of our socials, I'll put them on the screen somewhere. And you can kind of follow along on this project. We've got, you know, the month of March to finish filming. Um, April will be editing and the whole film will be released later this fall. So stay tuned. Now let's talk about these massages. I had someone reach out to me on Instagram. They basically focus on kind of sports related massages. Here in Salt Lake we have a really great outdoor community so people are always skiing or biking, hiking, running, all these different things. I never really knew that massages were something that I needed or wanted in conjunction with like the sports that I'm doing but I got one yesterday and it was absolutely phenomenal. So if you're in the Salt Lake area and you're looking for kind of a sports centric massage, I would check out Wicked Wellness. It's really cool because you can also focus on kind of injuries and massaging around those injuries, knees, ankles, shoulders, things like that. And I was just like really impressed with her space and um, her massage type. So I think she offers like 60 or 90 minute massages. Um, I did the 90 minute and it was just like this very nice meditative process. I'm honestly kind of like sore today. Like uh, we also went skiing a bunch yesterday. So I don't know. 
it feels good though. I know when like probably tomorrow I'm gonna be feeling very limber and amazing. Check them out. I'll put uh, a link to their website and their socials below. Now I guess we should get back to uh, putting this heater in our van so we can sleep comfortably. Nick? Measuring is hard. <laughs> We're gonna try and get through this. All right, I think we found the spot for the heater oh, and good. it's kind of like based on it's restrictions. Yeah, there there's a lot of restrictions, but I think we found the good spot. There's underneath, there's like the subframe and then the normal floor of the van. So I have to go past the subframe, which would mean that the best place to put the heater is right there. So this plate mounts to here like that. So the nuts will screw on to these three bolts here, which will secure the plate to the actual thing. So what I have to do is drill out a little rectangle in our van so that this plate can sit flush and these bolts can go down into that rectangle. And so everything kind of sits flush and goes down. Safety first. Safety first, everyone. I was a dum-dum. When I was measuring the holes for the heater, I was measuring towards the back of the van, but the second hole needed to go towards the front of the van, which means that, these are fogging up, <laughs> which means that we didn't have enough clearance for the second hole. What we're going to do is drill a bunch of, or cut a bunch of slots right here so we can make clearance for the heater vent, the intake can sit right there. And so I'm gonna make the first cut and then AJ's gonna make the rest of the, well, I've already made a bunch of cuts, but I'm gonna make one cut, I'm gonna show her and then she's gonna make the rest of the cuts so we can fit the heater in here, hopefully. All right, let's see if it fits. Yeah, we're gonna test it out. Let's see. Wait, it goes this way? Uh, other way. Yeah. All right, and then this. So this ideally is gonna go up like that fit right down in there. I think we made it work. We got some adjusting to do for sure. But yeah, I think that'll work. A little bit of an update. We got this plate mounted. That's not really, I mean, that's just has to happen before we install it. So I got that done. We got the holes drilled here. So that should be good. Yeah, making progress. We got our holes drilled. That's about it. <laughs> but it's progress. Back at it again with the white van. We are close. Right now, I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom of this tank. Okay, the objective here is to find a good spot in the bottom of the fuel tank, drill a hole, and have this, this little thing, hold on, sit right about there, poke out. And that's what our fuel line is going to attach to. Mm, should I just go and held on it? Make sure to empty out all the plastic bits. Because you don't want that in your fuel. Okay, we need to go bigger. <laughs> so here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, that one, we gotta go bigger. So now we have this one on. I really don't see how we're gonna need this one, but we might. That's gonna screw onto there, like that. So we go bigger. And to preface, I could probably look this up. I probably could. And someone would tell me, hey, you need a insert drill bit size here. But I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. I wanna figure it out and I think this one's gonna work. <laughs> and if it doesn't, that'll be pretty funny. Cause you see it's gotta like screw in there. Obviously this is the incorrect way to do this, but there's no way it should go bigger than that because this has gotta screw in. So we're gonna stick with this. 
and uh, get this thing installed. Okay, here's my method for that. We have a zip tie, a long zip tie. I'm gonna run it up through that hole. And then it's gonna come off. And then I'm gonna try again. Oh, it works! Okay, it was the last size, literally the last size that I tried. I drilled five different times. And it was the last one. Okay, I don't think it's getting any tighter than that. I just used pliers to clamp onto that with like, whatever, just paper towel, just for protection from like marring it. I honestly still got it a little bit because like you need a lot of friction but to be able to tighten this bolt effectively. I feel like I got it. I don't think it's gonna, I'm able to get it any tighter without seriously screwing up this like nipple. We need to do some more clearancing, I think. This is just not gonna work currently. So we're gonna try and get in there. I'll check in when it's done. I think we've got it. I'm gonna get a metal file, like I said. I'm gonna file all this down. I'm gonna file these inward a little bit more so there's just like good clearance for everything. This is rough work. I definitely wanna like make sure that I clean that up a little bit with like some sandpaper. It works, man. And it's all gonna be hidden. Like the doors are gonna be closed. So like, look, you can't even see it. <laughs> good morning, day two of the heater install. Gonna go get some tools finish her up. See ya in a sec. Okay, first little accident of the day. <laughs> I just sliced my finger open trying to cut some holes in carpet, but we're okay. Um, right now we're gonna mount the fuel tank to the back and then I'm gonna get the hose ready to be run. So I think I'm gonna go fuel tank, fuel filter, and then fuel line to the fuel pump, fuel pump underneath the van and then up into the thing. So yeah. Okay, here we are. So we have our two holes here and here. And then I just did a little support. Things aren't going nowhere. All right, everyone. Quick update. It's mounted. Uh, we got the exhaust pipes run, the intake pipes, the fuel line. That's what all that is there. Okay, heater's mounted. We're gonna go get some lunch, and then we are gonna come back and wire this puppy up. All right, gang, we're back from lunch. Austin is underneath the van, applying some heat shield to our brake lines and to our exhaust. I'm gonna figure out our mounting point for, or excuse me, our drill point for our fuel line to go down underneath and then back up into the heater. So I'm just gonna do some measuring really quick. We'll check in. I'll show you the work on the heat shielding. It's gonna be rough looking. It's just like heat shielding tape. And then I'll show you the progress on the fuel line. And then I think we're gonna be good to move into like shielding and then uh, electrical. So yeah. Issue number a million. These wires are gonna reach our fuse box. So I gotta go get some more wire. Fuel line is plumbed up and through. Here we are in there. Not so bad. That's gonna get plugged right into there. And then we gotta get some wire, but we're close. We're really, really close. Here's a little piece of Nick technology. There's our control unit, and then it's feeding down into the where everything else is. There we go. Now I've got to take this wire, splice it into this wire, and then we're gonna connect to our fuse box. Well, yeah. That's pretty much it. Do you want me to vacuum while you do that, or do you, do you want me yeah. to just like stay out of your way? Yeah, you can vacuum while you do that. I'm gonna clean up this mess now that I've been gone all day and haven't helped at all. Let's make it happen. Butt splice. <laughs> okay, this should power us on. There we are. We have power to the unit. Now we gotta figure out how to turn it on.
All it took was a unplug and plug back in again. <laughs> Classic. Uh, so right now the fuel pump is like right. priming and right. it's counting down 300 seconds. So now we just wait for 300 seconds. It honestly might need more. Stop heating. Thanks for using. I wish you a safe journey. <laughs> Thanks, heater. Oh damn! Oh damn! It's working. What are we doing? We're cooking with gas. <laughs> My hands and your hands are cold. <laughs> Damn, that's actually so sick. I can't believe I did it. <laughs> it was kind of fun to go back and edit that video because so many things did change. We made it work and the van heater works. It was really warm. It didn't use much power. It didn't use much fuel. I think we had to go into town to like refuel once during yeah, our, like our four and a half day stay. Whatever, I don't know. I, I've yet to figure it out, but we couldn't plug into the shore power. And so we had to run our off our solar the entire time during this winter storm. And I was freaking out because I always do. Did fine. Like we never dropped below like 40% battery. We ran the heater, you know, right before we went to bed and then would turn it off and it stayed, it stayed warm. And I am so happy we have that in our van now. What would you say is like the approximate cost? Uh, I th we installed it for under three hundred dollars, <laughs> which is crazy because like you can buy a diesel heater for like the Bobasto ones or whatever, or the Espar diesel heaters are like two grand or something like that, or a thousand dollars, whatever they cost. Yeah. This unit, all said and done, works the same as those other ones. Kept us warm, had no issues, and I installed it for under three hundred dollars. I feel like for people who are doing like actual van life and like are camping in colder climates, like it's very worth it and it's super easy. Like as you can see in the video, I definitely didn't have any struggles at all. <laughs> Cheers to that! Thanks again to the sponsor of this week's video, Wasatch and Squatters Beers. Let's see if this is gonna. It's the the perfect pair. If only there was a pack that they came in together. Wink. This is not a spoiler. <laughs> or is it? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our other social channels for more fun van, outdoor, ski, bike, all that content. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching and keep on crushing. Oh, oh wow. there, we, there go. we go. Nice pop. Nice oh, pop. and you dropped the thing in there. <laughs> this is, I need a drink of beer. <laughs>